The world is filled with many wonderful things, but what could possibly be better than chess? I'll show you what. I feel like I'm so feeling the baby bird, by the way. great things in this world, chess and bacon, but what if we combine both of those? The world is already a better place. This is a new lab. I sure wish I could go to Spain and Portugal during July 2022. Wait a minute. You can! Just click the link on the screen for more information or contact Ms. Smith. What's crack -a and Rams? Welcome back to another episode of CQC Controversial Questions or Conspiracies. And today, we do not exactly have a special guest, but we do have Maddie back, so that's always great. Um, I'm now going to pass it off to her to um, tell us about our topic today. Um, hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the Mandela Effect. I think it's something that kind of everyone has heard a teeny bit about, but it's, it's, a, cool, it's a cool subject. The Mandela Effect basically is the concept that there are real, actual things, but then a large population has memory of those specific things being completely different than what they actually are. Um, an example, think about your favorite book from your childhood, The Berenstain Bears. How do you spell it? Because I don't think it's spelt the way you think it's spelt. Everyone always thought it was like Stein, S-T-E-I-N. After looking back, it's been S-T-A-I-N. Bernstein. And like there are a bunch of people that are confused about this. There's a lot of things like that that people are just like, huh? So I want to know, have you guys like seen any examples of this? Which ones are your favorite? And what do you think? Like, why is this a thing? Why does it happen? I actually know of one like really common one. And that's the, the Monopoly man. Mr. Moneybags. I was gonna say that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so when you think of him, is he wearing a monocle? He is yes. when I think of him, yeah. but he doesn't have one. But when you actually look at him, he's not wearing a monocle. Like, like even, yeah. um, there's this, this one dude who goes to um, judicial hearings in Congress, and he dresses up as Mr. Moneybags from Monopoly, and he wears a monocle. But when you actually look at the dude from Monopoly, no monocle to be seen. I was going to mention that one because that's the first one that, that came to mind for me because you always think of the Monopoly man with a monocle. It's definitely a strange thing. I'm trying to think of another example, but I can't really think of one off the top of my head. How about the big one? Everyone thinks that in Star Wars, Darth Vader goes, Luke, I oh, am your this father. One, yep. He doesn't yeah. say yeah. that. He says, no, I am your father. He told me you killed him. No, I am your father. Everyone
everyone quotes it as he said that he says Luke. Like, how do all of us remember it wrong? How is it possible that yeah. so many people remember it wrong? I've even heard theories of of people saying like that one might have been like edited throughout the years because George Lucas came out with so many different cuts of the Star Wars movies. Some people think the original one actually was um, Luke, I am your father. I mean, that's possible. <sighs> There's another Mandela effect though, um, where people remember Mickey Mouse having suspenders and that's one that I don't remember I grew up as a Disney child I actually am probably more well read on Walt Disney than any other human being like ever since third grade I've been reading his biographies (laughs) and I've just never known Mickey Mouse to have suspenders but there's so many people that do so why is it like some Mandela effects I see and I'm like oh my gosh it's not actually that but then there's some that it's like these people what a what are they talking about? Like, why are so many people's, like, memories aligned in this wrong way? I feel like some of them are, like, on the fault of, like, the actual thing. Because, like, I'm just looking here at some. And when you see Febreze, do you think that it's R-E-E-Z-E or R-E-Z-E? I think there's two or one E. Two. You would assume it's like too easy, yeah. Because you'd think it's like a breeze, right? Yeah. Right. Nope. It's with one E. So it's Fabreze. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is Fabreze. It is not Fabreze. So I will never call it Fabreze again. It's always going to be Fabreze. <laughs> yes. Whoever named Fabreze really just spelled it wrong. I'm just looking through these. Apparently, there's not a hyphen in Kit Kat. I know! Isn't that so weird? Like when you think of Kit Kat, it's, it's Kit like Kit, Kat, and then there's a little Kat. tiny hyphen on, like in between them that's like kind of like, like not quite in the middle, but just a little bit down. That's how I've always seen it. Uh, we're wrong. <laughs> Question. In the Looney Tunes cartoons, how do you spell tunes? Oh, yeah. Two O's? You think it was two O's because it's like cartoons, but it's actually T-U-N-E-S, as in, like, songs. Even though the cartoons aren't musical. That doesn't even make sense. The common denominator here is that people don't know how to spell. <laughs> right. So, like, Correct. when we think of it, we're thinking of it, like, being spelt correctly. So, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we are over time. Oh, that is true. Yeah. We get lost oh, in man. the time. So, um... Lost in the I sauce. guess I'll, uh, I'll just close this out here. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. We might be back next week because we messed up the upload schedule. So <laughs> look out for that. <laughs> and um, everyone have a good day. Bye Rams. Hey, my name is Cole Richards. Um, I'm the scoutmaster of Troop 575 here, and this is my 100th camp out already. And I'm just excited to be here with all my new recruits, and it's gonna be super fun. I'm Takota. Um, I'm outside today. I'm part of Troop 575. I came prepared. I got my book and my knife. Um, when you're outside, the one thing you want to remember is don't get lost and, and always look at the sun. Oh, um, hi, I'm uh, Connor. Uh, Colby likes to think of himself as a scoutmaster, but actually I'm the reigning um, champion of merit badges, you can see, uh, pretty full sash. Uh, yeah, I just, I'm just like an Eagle Scout and I'm like the best, best at, at like hiking and whatever. Um, so I'm a pretty experienced hiker. So I like to hike in comfort, you know, so I switched out my my scout uniform. Those guys are kind of stupid, so they don't really they don't really get that yet. Oh. Hey, keep it up. You know like this is actually one of the best plants to eat on the trail. It's like the best food. You guys do know that that's poisonous, right? Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. 
Uh, this uh, Connor guy, I don't actually think he's an Eagle Scout. Million birds! There's no way he got Eagle Scout. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No, we're not. Scoutmaster, there yet. are we there yet? We're not there yet. How far? I don't know. Can I just run up that way? We've got about 0.75 a mile. Oh my, Scoutmaster, no. I want my knives back. Dakota's getting a little bit out of hand with all his knives. Dakota! Dude. Oh my just gosh. I'm practicing in case we see Bigfoot and his enemies. Bigfoot, you're not gonna see Bigfoot, okay? He's not coming. Just go, Master Riches, how long do you have my knives taken away for? Until you earn them back. How do I earn them back, though? Well, you gotta take nice little wood sculptures with the knives. But, make a but duck. those are my knives, those are part of my collection. Not I brought my favorite knives. If you want them back, you have to sculpt a duck, a beaver, and a Sasquatch. You know what? Figure you, out for that? You know, I'm starting to not like you. Don't tell Scoutmaster, but I brought enough knives to keep me coming. So Dakota just stepped on a Kaibo monster? That's literally what they put on the ground at scout camp when like you're gonna get the runs after lunch. Like, he's gonna poop himself. He doesn't even know it. Sasquatch! Don't tell the other guys about this, but this right here is the mask of Sasquatch. If I keep it on me, he's gonna find me. And I'm gonna be able to talk to Sasquatch once and for all. So this, keep him. Bigfoot! Oh, scatchy wachy! Bigfoot! Um, so this hike is great now, but I'm just really trying to find Bigfoot, honestly. Good Will Hunting? No. The Good Will Hunting movie is actually about three guys really who are smart. out hunting in the woods, and they're doing it for Good Will. Let's go, boys. We're almost at the top. Let's go, master. Let's go, master. Basically, all this hike taught me was that I'm still a superior scout, and no one compares to me. Alright, uh, we made it top to Rattlesnake Ledge. I'm really proud of all the boys who made it up here, our troop. So in the end, didn't find Bigfoot. I found out the world is not flat. Still like my knives, but remember, we're on a rock. And the lines are tall, but have all been cut. Makes a man want to cry when it's turned away. You're just a guest in this world, it'll last you for a while, but you don't get to stay.